I'm on my way to my father. But I will return. So in the Holy Quran, the Messiah is raised as a warner to the nations of the earth. It states, Blessed is he, Allah talking, who sent the discrimination upon his servant that he might be a warner to the nations. Although most self-proclaimed Muslim scholars believe that this verse refers to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, this is inaccurate. Prophet Muhammad did not warn the nations of the earth. Now, there are millions of people who are witnesses of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan here in North America and throughout the world, witnesses of his work. His three comprehensive world tours, as well as his extensive travels throughout the United States in the world, are recorded history in writings, in speeches, and on video. You can find it all over YouTube. So millions of people throughout the world are aware of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan's declaration that the great Mahdi and the Messiah are present. So no doubt there are also millions of people that do not know much about the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, especially the youth. However, this does not mean that Allah does not count his intense labor in warning the leaders and the people of the nations of the earth over the last 40 plus years, including the parents, grandparents, and great-great-grandparents of today's youth. So this fact must be kept in mind, especially among the youth whom the synagogue of Satan seeks to deceive about the mission and work of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. Now Allah has established in the scriptures and through his prophets the means and methods by which individuals and societies are, are to function in order to accomplish his will. Now what is the will of Allah on earth? It is peace on earth through the realization of justice and equality for all. So how do we arrive at peace? Now, of course, every person has his or her own opinion, especially the rich who pillage the earth. However, in the Holy Quran, Allah states, we have revealed to, for you, O men, a book which will give you eminence. Will you not understand? This verse is referring to the Holy Quran specifically because the Holy Quran contains the best and most relevant teachings from the scriptures that God sent through his prophets, particularly Moses and Jesus through the Torah and the New Testament or the gospel or what we have left of it from those who defile both of them. Well, eminence is generally a high station or rank since this book is to give us eminence. Eminence is the attainment and expression of high dignity that assures proper relationships among human beings. So when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that he will not rest until the Holy Quran becomes the law of the land, he was and is saying that he will not rest until humanity comes under divine guidance that will raise them from the ashes of the rule of the satanic leaders in the synagogue of Satan. Raise them from the ashes into prominence and eminence as true human beings functioning at the level we're supposed to function at. Now, when we examine the work of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan since 1981, and specifically since 1985, he has, he has exposed and opposed the U.S. government's warmongering efforts. Again, he opposed the war against Libya by Ronald Reagan in 1986. He opposed the war in Iraq by George H. Bush 
president at that time, and he opposed the war on terror by the son of George H. Bush, George W. Bush, in 2001, issuing divine warning and guidance to those presidents who implemented these destructive wars. Now, can we surmise in retrospect that during their meeting in 1985, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad charged the Honorable Louis Farrakhan with the task of interfering with all of the U.S. president's efforts to make war on the nations of the earth. Even though the Honorable Elijah Muhammad mentioned a war, singular. Well, we could presume this, but it's more sensible to call the quest of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan to fulfill his assignment or this directive, a journey towards achieving that ultimate goal. So the Honorable Louis Farrakhan's fulfillment of the, of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's instructions given on the great mother plane was and is a journey. And as we know, 1989 was 32 years ago, now, through the guidance of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I have presented key aspects of the value for the domestic life and its alignment with the Messianic prophecies. Now, there are several key areas that I have not yet addressed because it is not time to represent those areas or aspects to you. So you would be wise to continue to listen to me if you aim to get through the dark hour, which is based upon those who want to arrest and crucify the Messiah, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. I'm just telling you straight up. You can think whatever you want to think about me, but I know something you don't know, and I've already proven that. So, we have to remember the Honorable Louis Farrakhan's own words regarding his work and his movements from uh, his movements among the people these last 40 plus years. We got to remember that. We got to remember what he said about his own life, his own integrity and his own morality. We have to remember that regardless to what others say to the contrary. We must also remember the Honorable Louis Farrakhan's divine messianic work is the firmest witness of his sublime and esteemed morality and integrity. That's why he's called honorable. Now, why is it vitally important for us to remember these things?